For now, the MD-19 represents another major step forward for China's hypersonic program. With its reusable design and flexible deployment options, it highlights how quickly China is closing the gap and perhaps even setting new benchmarks in the hypersonic arms race. Currently, there are no widely known drone technologies that combine the ability to fly at hypersonic speeds and then land horizontally. The concept behind such a capability is still in its early stages of development. However, there are various technologies and ideas being explored that could potentially enable such platforms in the future. Horizontal landing is the real game changer here. Most hypersonic platforms are single use, they either burn up in the atmosphere or are destroyed on impact. The MD-19 rewrites that playbook. After being launched into the air and achieving hypersonic speeds, it has the ability to slow down, stabilize, and land on a conventional runway. This isn't just an innovation, it's a massive logistical advantage. China continues to push the boundaries of hypersonic technology. The latest test of the MD-19 an aircraft dropped from a TB-001 drone. Capable of reaching hypersonic speeds and then landing horizontally on a runway is a technological breakthrough worth closer examination. China's military aerospace sector appears to have reached a major milestone with its MD-19 hypersonic drone. A platform that reportedly can achieve horizontal landings after reaching hypersonic speeds. A recently surfaced video offers a glimpse of this cutting-edge system, shedding light on its deployment and key design features. The MD-19 was shown being air-launched from a Tengden TB-001, a medium-altitude long-endurance combat drone developed by Sichuan Tengden. This method of launch highlights China's increasing ability to combine unmanned platforms with hypersonic technology, offering greater operational flexibility while reducing energy costs and risks compared to traditional takeoffs. What makes the MD-19 truly noteworthy, however, is its ability to land horizontally on a conventional runway after completing its mission. This capability a world first for a hypersonic aircraft configuration, according to Chinese sources could represent a major step forward in reusability and operational efficiency. Most hypersonic test vehicles are single-use platforms, destroyed after completing their flights. The MD-19, on the other hand, appears to transition from hypersonic to subsonic flight and land safely. This not only reduces development costs but also allows for repeated testing, which is crucial for refining hypersonic technologies. The MD-19's aerodynamic design reflects its high-speed role. Its elongated, narrow nose and streamlined fuselage minimize drag and manage shockwave formation, while its sharply angled vertical stabilizers enhance control and stability at extreme speeds. Notably absent are air intakes, indicating the likely use of a rocket engine rather than an air-breathing scramjet a common approach for early hypersonic test platforms. One of the video's standout moments shows the MD-19 being released from near-orbital altitude using a high-altitude balloon. This suggests the platform is being tested under varied conditions to assess its performance across different phases of flight. The exact timing of these tests remains unclear, though some reports suggest they may have started as early as 2020. The TB-001 drone's role as a carrier also adds a layer of tactical versatility. Acting as a launch platform, the TB-001 can deploy the MD-19 deep into contested airspace while maintaining a lower profile, reducing the risk of early detection and interception. This combination of stealth and strategic reach could make it an ideal delivery system for future hypersonic weapons or reconnaissance missions. From a tactical perspective, the MD-19 could serve as a stepping stone to operational hypersonic platforms. Its current role as a technology demonstrator likely focuses on testing high-speed flight dynamics, thermal management, and recovery procedures. However, the knowledge gained could feed into the development of hypersonic strike vehicles, reconnaissance platforms, or maneuverable warheads capable of penetrating modern air and missile defenses. Whether the MD-19 evolves into a reusable combat drone or remains a testbed, its significance is hard to ignore. The combination of hypersonic performance, air launch capability, and horizontal landing demonstrates China's growing confidence in its hypersonic ambitions. It's a capability few nations can match, and one that could shift the balance in future high-speed, multi-domain warfare. Most hypersonic platforms are single-use, they either burn up in the atmosphere or are destroyed on impact. The MD-19 rewrites that playbook. 
After being launched into the air and achieving hypersonic speeds, it has the ability to slow down, stabilize and land on a conventional runway. This isn't just an innovation it's a massive logistical advantage. Why does this matter? First, the ability to reuse such an aircraft dramatically reduces costs and allows for frequent testing or operational missions. Second, horizontal landing means rapid turnaround and preparation for the next flight, which would be critical in real combat scenarios. Third, it's a clear demonstration of technological capabilities that few nations can match. From an engineering standpoint, transitioning from hypersonic speeds to controlled subsonic flight is no small feat. The MD-19 clearly relies on advanced flight control systems and an adaptive aerodynamic design, enabling it to survive extreme flight conditions and return safely to Earth. The MD-19's capabilities go beyond a mere tech demonstration. This platform could be used for reconnaissance missions, weapon system testing, or as a foundation for the development of future hypersonic weapons. The ability to land horizontally also unlocks operational flexibility. This drone doesn't require specialized recovery infrastructure. Standard military airstrips, even temporary ones, would be sufficient to accommodate it. That means the MD-19 can be deployed across various theaters and under diverse conditions, giving it a significant role in future combat operations. China is making it clear it has no intention of falling behind in the race for hypersonic supremacy. The MD-19 is further proof that the country isn't just testing technologies but integrating innovations with real-world battlefield potential. Horizontal landing isn't just a detail it's a testament to China's ambitions to field hypersonic systems that are effective, reusable and combat ready. Currently, there are no widely known drone technologies that combine the ability to fly at hypersonic speeds and then land horizontally. The concept behind such a capability is still in its early stages of development. However, there are various technologies and ideas being explored that could potentially enable such platforms in the future. In terms of hypersonic flight combined with horizontal landing, technologies primarily revolve around the development of hypersonic aircraft and reusable launch systems. The Boeing X-51 Waverider and DARPA's HTV-2 are examples of hypersonic vehicles, but they are not designed for horizontal landing. These vehicles focus on increasing flight speeds at hypersonic levels and showcase significant progress in hypersonic technologies, even though they are not engineered for horizontal landings. Research in these areas, however, could contribute to the development of such capabilities in the future. For now, the MD-19 represents another major step forward for China's hypersonic program. With its reusable design and flexible deployment options, horizontal landing is the real game-changer here.